We're trying to answer a big picture question of why we're here, why we're on Earth, why the Earth is in the Milky Way, why are we in this universe? So the point of the research is to really probe what happened right at the dawn of time. We call this time the Big Bang. And what we want to see during this time is whether something happened where the universe expanded faster than the speed of light, had this very rapid expansion. And this time period, we call it inflation. And so the purpose of my research is to figure out whether inflation happened. And the reason why it's so important is because we think that this time period of inflation is what seeded all the galaxies, all the stars, everything we have today. What we're trying to find is whether inflation happened by collecting what we call the oldest light in the universe with microwave telescopes that we have in the Atacama Desert in Chile. So this oldest light, it's called the cosmic microwave background, stores information from those first few fractions of a second after the Big Bang, and that information is imprinted in it. When light travels to us, it gets bent if it happens to pass near a galaxy, and we call this effect gravitational lensing. So to see the signature that we're looking for, we have to undo this effect of lensing, and we call it de-lensing. And the goal of this research is to set up a group at Stony Brook to de-lens the light that we get and to then uncover this telltale signature underneath. This would tell us that we understand the whole physics and development and evolution of the universe right all the way back to 10 to the minus 34 seconds after the Big Bang. And that would have a transformational impact on humanity in terms of our understanding of where we came from. <laughs>